uh, right friends uh, so for this session and we'll try and uh, learn about how to configure uh, snapshot replication uh, the snapshot replication is one is actually the sub part of any or uh, replication that we set up uh, for MS SQL server it's uh, for any replication that we set up the initial uh, point is to uh, copy the snapshot of the articles and place it on uh, the path specified during the configuration of distribution is actually co uh, copies it and, and keeps the snapshot there from where the distributor copies the snapshot initial snapshot and uh, puts it across uh, the subscribers uh, so uh, this is that was the snapshot uh, replication I mean snapshot that's taken uh, for snapshot replication uh, the only snapshot agent will be active there will be no log reader or queue reader agents involved in this case kind of snap uh, replication so we'll try and learn uh, how to configure the snapshot uh, replication we have a sales table in our test DB which is nothing but uh, table having five hypothetical table sales table which is having around 500 uh, uh, records uh, with id and uh, which uh, id is the primary key for this 501 records is id is the primary key for this table and uh, so we'll try and create a snapshot uh, replication for this uh, table and we'll say new publication consider the test db say snapshot publication and then we'll check our table sales since we have not uh, created filter we have not seen how to create a filter so far so we'll have a filter in this demo session we'll say price is less than 500 so for all the items having price product codes having price less than 500 will only get replicated with this filter in place we move on here we'll have the snapshot uh, creation instructions will create it immediately also we can schedule a snapshot agent to run as per a schedules uh, I mean snapshot agents uh, are actually snapshot replication is used for OLAP a kind of a uh, uh, setup where uh, where data is actually used for read only purposes or analysis purposes uh, and data is not uh, to be fetched frequently i mean uh, they fetch the data maybe on a quarterly basis or a monthly basis it's not uh, on hourly or every six hours it's not so because uh, for snapshot re uh, replication the network uh, dependency involved is huge because the entire snapshot of the particular uh, particular article there might be uh, millions of records in articles which are getting copied so the entire of uh, or the complete snapshot gets overwritten every time the snapshot agent runs so there's a huge dependency on the network so it's not advised to be uh, uh, using this thing every hour or every uh, uh, day I mean so uh, we'll uh, say for this current scenario we'll say immediately just for once initialize it and uh, the agents involved the agent security here the snapshot agent will be using only uh, uh, replication will be using only one agent that is a snapshot agent right so we'll configure it for with the SQL service account and move on we'll name it as snapshot right and say finish it this will create the initial publication and create the add the article start the snapshot agent so that is So as we can see the snapshot agent has been uh, snapshot uh, publication has been created next uh, is we will subscribe so the second and the third instance will subscribe We'll create it a pull. Pull is a better for snapshot uh, applications because we can just pull it. The subscriber uh, subscriber can pull it on as per need basis, and it n uh, it doesn't need to be pushed it from the I mean uh, uh, the publisher's end. So let's go with pull. And the database we'll use as my DB.
and say finish it will complete configuring the subscription on the second instance right it will also create the same subscription here on the third instance full subscription and we'll use the work db next we have the sql server ok run continuously immediately and create the subscription this will complete the process for the subscription being created alright so that's the subscription now if we simply we simply go to the third instance and in the work db if we select sales we will find 50 rows right and in the filter we had said if it is greater than uh, greater than the price uh, 500 only those uh, records will uh, will get replicated so all the uh, product codes which are having price greater than 500 are getting replicated here right if we see the properties and if we see filter rows and if we we can see greater than 500 right so this is as per uh, the need and also we can just confirm this if they are getting they are there on our d4 second instance second instance in the sample db sorry in the my db i guess yeah so 50 rows are there in this as well now if we uh, if let's see if we can insert uh, this any records or update any records on from the subscriptions inserting a new record so that is that got inserted correctly on the second instance if we see this is the new record with ID 1 that got inserted initially right similarly if we try to insert something before that we can just let's see if uh, the same record is there or not it will not get uh, I mean uh, synchronized because it's a snapshot and it will be standalone I mean it will be it will not get merged anyway so it's not here so it's not there so let's let's try to insert something here as well right so we have done so but uh, they, they are not getting uh, initialized now uh, say these data uh, are used by uh, this respective subscribers for their need and they just try to uh, manipulate or uh, pr uh, perform any uh, modifications as per their wish they are not, uh, they are simply using it for their own local changes they are not getting uh, synchronized all across now uh, if if uh, they want the next snapshot to be uh, subscribed they simply in the snapshot agent status they can simply uh, the snap snapshot agent status that could be started all over again so if we once this snapshot agent starts we had not scheduled it remember uh, during the configuration if we start it all over again uh, the changes that has happened um, on the local subscribers 
will be get un will get undone the publication will get overwritten so i mean the subscription will get overwritten by the publisher so let's uh, just try to start this all over again if we start this this uh, you uh, consumes a lot lot of network because network bandwidth because the entire article gets yeah it's complete so now if we go ahead and check whatever changes we had made will not be there i mean the publisher change will be visible so 503 is not there correct and if we see here also 501 will not be available so that's about it uh, as far as the snapshot replication is concerned and uh, if we go ahead and say see the replication monitor we'll see two publications here and this is the snapshot publication being subscribed by these two subscribers and the agent available is only the snapshot agent so we can schedule the snapshot agent and also run it manually whenever required so both of these can can be done so that's about it the that's about the snapshot replication how it can be configured and what all purposes can, it can serve next and last is the merge uh, replication uh, we'll have a look at it in the, at the next uh, video session thank you